time, yes, <laughs> happy lesson time is here yet again. Let's dive in, module seven, lesson eight. And what we're doing now is the same thing we've been doing past few lessons, but now with units of weight in the customary system. And the good news is, <laughs> we're just doing pounds and ounces. So capacity was confusing because we had gallons and quarts and pints and cups. And then uh, even with length measurement, we had inches, feet, and yards. Okay, but here is just two units, pounds and ounces. That's it. Hallelujah. Let's begin. All right, so let's start with that straightforward conversion right there. One pound is how many ounces? Well, yes, it is 16 ounces. Okay, so then that would mean that if you had a pound and three ounces, that's a total of... Well, the pound we just said is 16, and three more would be 19 ounces. Beautiful. All right. One pound, one ounce. 16 and one are 17 ounces. And one pound, nine ounces. 16 and nine, 25 ounces. Okay. Three pounds, 11 ounces. Okay. Whew. Three times 16 is... Well, you can do 3 times 10 is 30, and 3 times 6 is 18. 30 and 18 are 48, uh, plus 11 more make 59er. Yep, 59 ounces. Going the other way, 16 ounces then is 1 pound. Okay, great. So then 20 ounces, break that down into pounds and ounces. Pull out the 16 ounces to make a pound, leaving 4 ounces. So 1 pound, 4 ounces. See how this works? 30 ounces, there's a couple ways to do this. We could do the same thing, pull out the 16. You could also say, ah, I know 16 doubled is 32. So this will be a pound and, yeah, two less than 16, 14 ounces. It's just another way of thinking about the same thing. Or you can do 30 minus 16 is 14. That works too, however it works for you. All right, so here we go. Let's answer a question hearkening back to our linear measurement conversions in the customary system. Feetsies and inchesies. A sign next to the roller coaster says a person must be 54 inches tall to ride. At his last doctor's appointment, Zaim was four feet four inches tall. He has grown three inches since then. Is he tall enough to ride the roller coaster? And by how many inches does he either make or miss the minimum height? Like is he two inches taller than the minimum, or is he two inches less, say? All right, well, let's answer that. There will be a, a B question. Let's do A first. Okay, he's four feet, four inches, plus the three inches makes him four seven, right? Uh, four feet, seven inches. Now, we, yeah, this is inches. This is what we're comparing it to. It's just inches. So four feet is how many inches? Well, it's four times 12, 12, 24, 36, 48, there's that number again, plus 7, 48 plus 7, is 55. Okay, so he's 55 inches tall. Ah, so by how many inches does he make it? He, he's an inch taller than he needs to be. He can take his shoes off and still make it on. All right, so now let's look at his dad. Liam's father is 6 feet 3 inches tall, we know he's making it, right? He's, he can ride the roller coaster. But how much taller is he than the minimum height? Okay. And you know why they're doing this math? Because sometimes you have to stand in those lines like forever, right? And so you're like, oh, let's do some math while we're waiting. All right, so he's six feet, three inches tall. So how many inches is that? Well, it would be six times uh, 12 plus the three inches, right? Well, six times 12, do six times 10 is 60. Six times two is 12. 60 and 12, 72. 72 plus the three is 75 inches. Uh, but that's not the question. The question is how much taller is he? So you have to subtract 75 minus 54. Five minus four is one. Seven minus five is two. No regrouping. He's 21 inches taller than the minimum. Great. Now, we're getting to today's, uh, you know, the core of the lesson here, um, adding mixed units of weight measure, and then we'll do subtracting. And you're going to find this is going to be pretty quick. This is a very straightforward, quick lesson, all right? 
four pounds, 11 ounces plus 15 ounces. Remember how we do this? We just crunch the numbers first. 11 and 15 are 26, so four pounds, 26 ounces. Pull out the 16 to get another pound, so that gives us five pounds, and what's left over? 10 ounces, okay? Boy, isn't this the same thing we're doing? We're just working with different numbers, you know, with the 16 ounces being a pound. All right, so now we have, look, we have pounds and ounces on both. So 24 pounds plus nine pounds. And you know, another way of thinking about this is to add 10 and then subtract one. So 34 minus one is 33 pounds. Eight and 13, 21. So 33 pounds, 21 ounces. Pull out the 16 ounces. So this is now 34 pounds. What's left here? Five ounces, beautiful. 34 pounds, five ounces. Subtraction is the same thing, and we're going to do all of these with regrouping, because we know when there isn't regrouping, like to look at this first one here, if it were the other way around, like 6 pounds 12 ounces minus 7 ounces, if it were the other way around, you just subtract. But the reason we have to regroup is because we cannot do 7 minus 12 here, okay? So the wrong answer here, like if I were writing a quiz, the wrong answer uh, A would be 6 pounds 5 ounces. If you didn't, if you reverse the numbers, which doesn't happen too often in fourth grade, but it does. We all do it. All right, so I'm going to leave, remember, five of those pounds alone and take one of them and decompose it as 16 ounces with the seven ounces already present. 16 plus seven is 23. So that would be five pounds, 23 ounces. Now I can subtract 12 quite easily, right? That leaves five pounds and 23 minus 12 is... 11. 5 pounds, 11 ounces. See how this works? Great. Same thing, isn't it, that we were doing with all the other regroupings. 5 pounds, 9 ounces, minus 2 pounds, 14 ounces. Okay, I can't do 9 minus 14. I need to regroup here. So four of those pounds I'm going to leave alone. One of them I'll decompose as 16 ounces plus the 9 ounces already present. So 4 pounds, 25 ounces. Now I can subtract. 4 pounds minus 2 pounds is... 2 pounds, 25 ounces minus 14 ounces is 11 ounces. Yes, and look at that. I told you this was going to be a quick one. We're already there. And just watch the signs when you're doing the problem set. Make sure you're uh, doing the right operation, whether it's addition or subtraction. They, they do two addition, two subtraction, two addition, two subtraction here, so it's easy to keep track. Um, here we're comparing the, well, actually, yeah, it's kind of a comparison. The, the two backpacks together is 27 pounds. Sarah's weighs this much. So we have a, the whole. We have a known part and an unknown part. Yes, so you know that subtraction. And here we, have, here we are doing more of a comparison. The scissors is three ounces more than the pencil, and the bottle of glue is three times as much. Make sure you redraw right. Draw a tape diagram for all these. Whoa, yeah. Do it up, y'all. The only thing I want to make sure you do on this one, uh, the only time I've seen students get this one wrong was when they forgot say an A here. It's the laptop, the supply case, into her backpack. So you need to include the empty backpack there as well, okay? Um, and then uh, and here as well in B. Make sure you include the, the backpack itself. Um, and then exit ticket is same thing but shorter. When you get to the homework, you know what to do. Hop on over to homework. Look, another backpack one, just different numbers. Hop on over to the homework time video, and we will do it all there together. Well, look at what you've gone and done. You've completed another lesson. Bully for you. And I will see you next time. It is, once again, lesson time.